Today, let's talk about another revolutionary therapeutic, and that's monoclonal antibodies, or commonly abbreviated as MABs. But before we break down this therapeutic, let's first remind ourselves what even are antibodies. Now, antibodies are found in our bloodstream, and if you've seen a lot of the different vaccine explainer videos that I've done, you know that they're produced by our immune system. And they kind of work like a lock and key, as they're very specific to a particular protein that's found on the outside of a pathogen. And they're present in our bloodstream because our bodies come in contact with pathogens every single day. And they can bind specifically to that protein on the outside of a pathogen, and it signals the immune system to come in and destroy it before that pathogen can make us sick. But monoclonal antibodies first mean that it's just one type of antibody. So the antibodies are very specific to only one type of protein. And they can be used in two main ways. The first is that they're actually used to target cancer cells. So that antibody will be very specific to a protein that's found on the outside of a cancer cell, and it will bind there. It will then serve as a beacon to the immune system, telling the immune system to come in and destroy those cancer cells. The second way that it can be used is actually on our immune cells. And that's because sometimes there's barriers that can be in place for our immune cell to actually get to the cancer. And those can be known as checkpoint inhibitors. But these monoclonal antibodies can bind to our immune cells and help it to bypass those checkpoint inhibitors and still attack that cancer. So these monoclonal antibodies are an emerging therapeutic that have been used in the past to treat a variety of different cancers and are still being developed further today to treat even more types of cancer as well as to go into a variety of different fields of diseases.